one by one because it's a so crucial moment for youngsters like you to tell you what are you going to do, what type of job you're going to try to get. So I try to read the survey you uh, answered. One is very clear and I'm not going to tell you his name. Her name, I don't know, but at least he decided his goal based on his own talent, his potential power. You are here, but you do not know who you are, as I didn't know what I was. But to know yourself is very important. You are here, you pay, your parents pay the money. Right? Yes. Your parents expect when you graduate from the university, your life will be successful. No, not at all. You are here studying the same, in the same, the same set. You are taking the same course. But when you graduate, you see your friends quite different. Some of your friends will be employed a very good company, paid a good salary. Most of you will be failed. Which way you want to take? Good salary. Good salary? Yeah. yeah, sure. Thank you. Yeah, not only. So, I am showing you, let me take my life as an example because I know which way I took. So I try to invent a graph, life graph, I say life graph. Let me tell you, uh, the success life guarantee your health. You should be good health. If you are ill, you should be hospitalized. It's a very unhappy life. Where is you need money to send your son to Utah or your daughter to Utah or somewhere else. You need money. With your money, you look poor, you are poor. So you need money and job. You need good job. You want to have a good job, right? And home sweet home. You need your own house and warm home. Sweet home with good wife, good kids. So symbolizing successful life. Uh, but when you lose your job, you lose your health, which means minus life, plus life. The 10 happiness index, 10 is the best. I'm saying 10 is the best. You can put here 100. So, for instance, I was born in a small island. My parents were not rich enough to send me to the United States. Even hard for my parents to send me to mainland Korea because I was born in a small island, smaller than Kampar. 
my father was enough poor not to send me anywhere. So I'm saying, when I was born, I served here. Life long, lifelong, lifelong cycle, yeah? It was just one year old. When I was born, uh, I had my parents, but they were not rich enough. But I was okay, not minus. Study elementary school, I was okay, plus. But when I moved to mainland, I tried to persuade my parents to send me to the mainland. It was uh, 14 years old, so I was, uh, I was, uh, it was uh, successful. They finally sent me to mainland. My life was uh, happy so much. So, up here. And studied hard. And I went into good high school. So happy here. High quality school. I was uh, one of two who entered high quality high school. But while I was studying at high school, I didn't do my best. I failed to enter first quality university. Shum down my life minus because I was afraid to meet people who asked me, Who are you? I was not a student of university, also, I was not a student of high school. I was nothing. My parents felt very shameful because I belonged to anywhere. I stayed at home and I went to a uh, private institute and studied another year to go best quality university. Next year, I failed again. So, for the time, my life was miserable, believe me. No date, no money, no friends. Started alone with tears. Next year, I'm sure I will go to the best university. I was very determined. Another year, I studied. Again, my faith. I failed again. Oh, it was so miserable. Finally, I entered second class university. Uh, I a little bit better studying another year, but finally it was not, uh, I could not go uh, plus life because I was not happy with my university. So when I entered the university, I was asked to come to army for three years. Again, here, army, fine, here. Later then, I was uh, already almost uh, five years behind my friends, my competitors. Look, I spent three years just preparing to enter to the university, but I failed. Another almost two or three years for military duty. My friends, they were far before me. So, when I came back to university, I thought to myself, how can I make life, my life like this? It's so miserable. I should find a job just for me. So, what I did, first, I analyzed myself as I gave you the survey. Uh, when I read most of your uh, uh, answers, very vague, 
as I did. You don't know what to do. I can't, I can't see why you are here. First, ask yourself, what is my strong point? Or what is my weak point? So, to find the right job for me, I went to the library and searched many kinds of jobs. So suddenly, I found a job of a journalist. Why? They asked me, you don't have to be smart. <gasps> oh, that was just for me. Because if they say, you must be smart, I may give up. Because the country proved that my brain is not smart enough. Mm -hmm. I failed twice entrance examination. But though you don't have to be smart, but you have to be diligent. So I'm, I think I'm diligent enough, though I'm not smart enough. But if you are not diligent, if you are not smart enough, no place to go. You better stay at home, come to university. University can't do anything! Somebody who are lazy, somebody who has no motivation to study. University? Nothing. University can do something for somebody who has some motivation. Why I should become a journalist? So, first, I was happy to find. I don't have to be smart, but I'm still, I thought it's just for me. And second, Job of journalist never asked me what major you are studying. Because an undergraduate, I studied animal science. Animal science? I'm not interested in animal at all. I love to eat animal. <laughs> but why you studied animal science? Because if I study animal science, they guarantee I will get self, uh, uh, sponsorship, scholarship. So there was no other choice. As I said, my parents was not you know, rich enough to send afford my school fees. The university guaranteed if you study animal science, we pay all your school fees, including accommodation. That was a so attractive. I couldn't resist. And immediately, the moment that I entered the university, I realized animal science, it was not my subject. But I couldn't change. I was not happy with my major. But I have to carry on to get the scholarship. So the job of journalist, they never asked what major I am. So I can carry on my study. And third, you don't have to study well, but one subject you have to be good at. What? Korean language. The job of journalist must be good at language. So, comparatively, I'm good at Korean language to other subjects. So, I just, what I have done good for myself, I decided the job for me based on my uh, strong point and weak point. So I studied to become a journalist for three years at the library. I got up five o'clock in the morning. Every morning I got up five o'clock in the morning and studied the library 11.13. No taking rest. So you have to go library at five, otherwise you cannot find nice place to study. So I wanted to have a nice a place to study. For three years I studied. I determined to become a journalist. But again, I failed and failed because to become a journalist, the competition was so fierce. Finally, I, was, uh, I had a chance. Look, to become a journalist in Korea, you have to pass Return examination, which is very competitive. Anyway, once I passed and asked to have an interview, 
I was very confident, but uh, I realized the moment that I had an interview with them, I am gonna kick out because they try to find someone who graduated from first class university, not second class university that I studied. So then I already reached age limit. There is some uh, very ridiculous uh, regulation in Korea. Once you reach a certain age, you cannot apply for a certain job. Job of journalist, you shouldn't uh, 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 at the time uh, older than 26 or 7, some, somewhere like that. So I reached already the age limit. So at the time, for the first time, I seriously decided to kill myself because there was no hope in Korea to become a journalist. So I thought and thought which is the best way to kill myself. First choice was to jump out of a Han River, Han Bridge. And in Seoul, capital city, there is a big Han River called River. Han River. So I can jump out of the uh, Han Bridge, and this is the easiest way. But unfortunately, as I said, I was born in a small island, so from age three, I learned how to swim. So I'm so good at swimming. So maybe first choice, it cannot work. So I changed my mind. Another option, another uh, way to kill myself.